Uh, Mary Lou, it was uh, an extraordinary budget yesterday. It's the kind of stuff Sinn Féin has really been calling for. Big spending on health, big spending on education, big spending on uh, housing, more teachers, more Gardaí. Very difficult for you to find anything to criticise about it, I'd imagine. Well, good morning, Shane. And it was uh, an extraordinary budget because we are living in extraordinary times. I think your listeners will note that the the fiscal rule book got got torn up and um, very, very large amounts of borrowing uh, correctly uh, have been made. And and by the way, we're in line with uh, countries right across the continent and right across the globe in that uh, regard. The question, I guess, when you move away from the kind of the dazzling billions, the, the, the big, big headline figures is to ask, well, what, what does this actually mean in concrete terms, in terms of people's lives? So um, you're right, we want big spending in housing. Um, but just bear in mind, there was the, the sum of 110 million for affordable housing for a yet, unident- a yet undefined shared equity loan. Mm. That's very disappointing. There was nothing for renters. There was a lot for landlords, a lot of supports for landlords, nothing for renters. We had been looking for a month's tax uh, relief, a tax relief credit uh, to the equivalent of one month's rent to put it back in renters' pockets. Yeah. We were looking for Are a you ban slightly on focusing on rent. glass one tenth em- empty rather than nine tenths full? I mean, well, it was the biggest housing budget ever. Uh, they're promising to build and deliver 12,750 social homes, including 9,500 uh, new bills. That's going to be the biggest ever if they can deliver on that. Well, let me make two points. Uh, I think if you are a renter and if you're um, listening to this programme this morning, getting ready or getting the kids ready for school and you're worried about your rent, this is an important issue. It's not a marginal one, Shane. And to let renters down in that way at this time for us is disgraceful. What what should they have done on rent? I've just described to you what they should have done for rent. There was a tax credit needed for renters to put a month's rent back in renters' pockets and we needed a ban on rent increases for the next three years. So we also, so, we people, also so people, for example, renting with a public sector job who are probably better off now than they were six months ago because we're all struggling to spend money at the moment. That's one of the problems. Shane, we'd get, we we'd know, get a month's free rent? We, we, know, we know from experience that the bulk of family homelessness over the last number of years has come from the private rented sectors and yeah, no, absolutely. People, but that seems like quite a blunt instrument you're using. Well, look, um, you, you can argue that all public policy uh, instruments are at, at some level blunt, but we think that this is a proportionate and, and a necessary intervention.